Hello. My name is Raymond Hayes. I'm the director of the Brain Data Analysis Research Division here at the university. We're engaged in some very exciting work that we are thrilled to share with you today. You're, you're very lucky to be here. We have been able to create a digital environment that's based on the brain data of a single subject. Um, we'll call him Walter, let's say. Now, this experience will work best if I tell you as little about Walter ahead of time as possible, but I will tell you that he has been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, this is the incredible part. When you put on your headset, you will find yourself in a recreation of Walter's memory of his traumatic event. Now, I should say that this technology is very new and imperfect at this stage. Some of the data may be incomplete. Some may even be corrupted. What you are experiencing is a recorded consciousness. It's not unlike watching a movie. So no matter how real it may seem, it can't hurt you. You are completely safe. You are completely safe. In a couple of years, this technology is going to be perfected. It is going to be released in the world. And you, the very few lucky ones that are here today, are going to be able to tell your friends that you were there at the very beginning. And that is incredibly special. So thank you. supposed to be here? On my orders, the United States military has begun strikes against Al-Qaeda terrorist training camps and military installations of the Taliban regime in Afghanistan. These carefully targeted actions are designed to disrupt the use of Afghanistan as a terrorist base of operations and to attack the military capability of the Taliban regime. We are joined in this operation by our staunch friend, Great Britain. Other close friends, including Canada, Australia, Germany, and France have pledged forces as the operation unfolds. More than 40 countries in the Middle East, Africa, Europe, and across Asia have granted air transit or landing rights. Many more have shared intelligence. More than two weeks ago, I gave Taliban leaders a series of clear and specific demands. Close terrorist training camps, hand over leaders of the Al-Qaeda network, and return all foreign nationals, including American citizens, unjustly detained in your country. None of these are And now, the Taliban will be By destroying camps, you're a fucking coward. You can't tell me to man up. You have one new message. Scotty? You there, baby? Tell Mama what's going on, sweetie. Tell that dear great dad of yours to pick up the goddamn phone. At the same time, I just get so scared. We'll know the generosity of America. As we strike military targets, I will if you want me to. Medicine and supplies. Don't bother, Mom. You just stay in bed. You never did a goddamn thing for me either. So why start now? But I did something for you, Mama. I killed the motherfucker!
made you some kind of fucking hero? You feel like a hero? When you're beating my ass or smashing shit? Some goddamn hero. Couldn't save his own family. We're not even a family. We're a bunch of goddamn POWs. It's all a lie. I'm living a fucking lie. Are you proud of me now? I'm a killer. Just like you. I was never good enough. Never mad enough. Looking for my dad? Well, you're too late. You want to find him so bad? You can join him. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the great the brass is going to be. The of terrible swift is marching on. Did you see the Did you see the Hallelujah. 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 